Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from our Jungle Observatory in Ballard, Seattle, Washington. This is Dave Julian, your host, who isn't actually from England, but is mocking the famous British voiceovers from nature shows of his childhood. And I brought you here this morning not to look at the neighbor's bamboo, but to notice something amazing that has happened in our little home, and that is the hatching of these cocoons that were given to me by my eminent entomologist friend, Jeffrey Stewart Ingram, whose favorite food plant is Lucky Strikes and Fine Irish Whiskey. However, he has brought us these cocoons by shipping them to me, and we have had something miraculously happen, where last night there must have been something evil and wonderful in the air, and male Cecropia silk moths hatched from these big baggy silken cocoons and revealed their beauty to us this morning. So I will get close and show you the wonderful feathery antennae of this male. It is used to detect the female Cecropia when she hatches, and we're hoping that does happen. If I can get him a little bit excited, there we go. You can see the beautiful patterns on the wings made of reds and blacks and beige colors and even here you can see the mock eye spots that are used to startle birds that come in to bother this moth as I have done. But I have permission to do it because I'm the one holding the iPhone. Here is a different moth, the Prometheus silk moth that is hatched from these less baggy leaf wrapped cocoons and she's about half the size of uh, the other species. And I'll get it close here and you can see her patterns are a little bit different and she's a bit more wine colored. And here is the male, much larger. Look at that, look at all these colors and patterns. He's getting quite feisty now. So about an hour ago, uh, when we discovered this hatching, or I should say emergence. Uh, he was just all shriveled up, having recently crawled from his cocoon where the entire of last winter was spent growing from a caterpillar into this gorgeous moth. And what we are hoping is that these other cocoons start to emerge and uh, we are treated with the spectacle of males hatching while the females are still there and we can possibly breed them out by letting them fly around the bathroom, maybe some nice enclosed spot and uh, they will mate and carry on the tradition of breeding. They do not feed as adults, so there is nothing to worry about. Moths this large could eat holes the size of Volkswagen beetles, but they don't. They have no mouth parts whatsoever, therefore they are no threat to us. They don't even eat or drink or sip nectar or drink whiskey or smoke cigarettes. Therefore, their only quest is to find an adult of the opposite sex and to breed peacefully and wonderfully. It is said that these males can detect the female moth of their species from up to four or five miles away. It differs with each species, but I think that's rather amazing because the human species needs to be right in front of the opposite sex or on the other end of an email or phone call or what have you. In any event, I'm just here bringing you this spectacle of some hatched, gorgeous American silk moths. Here again is a female Promethea hatched from her little cocoon, which we've taped and, and tied up to these branches to simulate an environment for safety and the ability to hang in midair to pump up the wings after hatching. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start our day and leave you with these thoughts. If you think of moths, do not think of them as drab things that eat clothing, but think of them as potential beauty unlike anything else you've seen. Well, and that's it from our little jungle. Have a good day.